What's up, fellas? Welcome back to One Crazy Foodie Kitchen. Today, you know, we have something fun going on, all right? We're having a little smoothie bowl challenge. My good friend, real life jet, Bria Larda, challenged me. She said that she can make a better smoothie bowl than me, and I was a little bit shaken up, you know? I don't think that she can. Bria on her channel made a smoothie bowl. I've yet to see what it looks like, but we're challenging her today. Um, we're going against her. We're going. We're gonna see who takes the W in the smoothie bowl challenge. Okay? I don't think that she can beat one crazy smoothie, all right? But I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous. If I do lose this challenge, um, I'm gonna be embarrassed. You know, my pride is kind of gonna go down the garbage disposal right here. So. <laughs> After watching this video, make sure to go check out Bree's video. It's gonna be in the description, and it's up to you guys to vote who made the best smoothie bowl. You have to leave a comment, leave a like on which one you like better, or on both if you like both of them. I mean, they're smoothie bowls. You can't go wrong. They're both gonna be good. But anyways, let's get right on into it. You guys know we use a food processor out here. This is the key to making your smoothie bowls thick, all right? Thick with five C's. Actually, our bananas are a little bit thawed, so it might not be with five C's today, it might just be with two. But we're gonna make a berry, a berry, we're gonna make a berry smoothie bowl today, okay? A banana berry smoothie bowl, because obviously the base, this is like two and a half bananas. Yummy! They're frozen, obviously, you need to freeze your bananas and make sure they're ripe, okay? You don't want green, gross, starchy bananas in your smoothie bowl, because that will make it taste not good. Next, we got a lovely berry medley. This has strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries, okay? So that's a, four berries, yummy in my stomach, okay. So now, uh-oh, I already spilled. Just putting in our berries. Ah! I'm a mess! Okay, I'm not eating those. Those are going down the garbage disposal just like I cried after this video. Okay. Uh, oh, I forgot the most important tip, okay? If you wanna bring your smoothie bowl game to the next level, I've already said this in some of my other past smoothie bowl videos, but put your bowl in the freezer before you begin, all right? This has been cooling off for about an hour now in the freezer, and that just makes it so it, it won't be sti And that just makes it so it'll stay nice and, uh, you know, frozen as you eat it. So, pro tip right there. All right, Bree, all right, I bet you didn't say that in your video, huh? All right, come at me. Frozen smoothies. What? Frozen smoothie bowls. Literally bowl, frozen. So, next, we're just gonna blend this, this on up, all right? Before we add anything else into it, we're just gonna go ahead, and we're gonna, what is this, I can't even see. We're gonna pulse it a bit. And then blend. Already, oh, it's already, it already looks so good. Look at that, it's thick with this is three C's. It's sliding a little bit, it's not five, but honestly, good texture. Okay, so then you scrape, you scrape it a bit, scrape the sides. We're gonna add in some plain Greek yogurt. This is optional, it adds a bit of creaminess. So, this already looks pretty creamy, so we're not gonna add very much, just like two little spoonfuls of that in there. And then we're gonna blend it back on up. Just me and my bay. And would you look at that, it's already done. Wow. Wow, can you look at that texture? Okay. <laughs> Wasn't that appetizing? So we're just gonna leave that to sit for now. Now, the most important part, we're cutting up our berries for the toppings, okay? We only do the freshest, organic strawberries, okay? Organic, because we're bougie out here, all right? Organic blueberries, you see that? Organic, okay? It's for bougie. Ooh, these strawberries look a little old. <laughs> don't mind that. We don't need that many berries, maybe just, I think three honestly will be too much, so we're just doing two. Let's cut up the strawberries, okay? Just look at that. Okay, this is lighting horrible. Amazing, uh, organic. Okay, wash them off, okay, because we're not dirty. <laughs> we get a nice little knife out here. Look at, we can get some chopping action. This 
knife is rusty. <laughs> All right, we got our little fruit knife here. Chopping action up in here, I don't even know. Oh yeah, look at that precision. I bet, I bet you Bree's not taking this into account, all right? She's not precise like me. <laughs> Woo! Ty guys, isn't that fun? Every detail I pay attention to, right? We don't slack on anything out here. Except for my <laughs> nail polish. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna grab our bowl from the freezer, okay? It's nice and ice cold, another detail that Brie, I bet she's not doing in her video, okay? Okay, so look at this. Oh yeah! <laughs> Uh oh, I got it on the side. Not good for presentation. Okay, look at that berry goodness. This is called One Craze Foodie, all right? We're pretty crazed out here. Crazy good at making smoothie bowls. <laughs> Gotta get every last bit. This is a lot of smoothie, okay. Now we go for the presentation. Because it doesn't matter if it tastes good, it only matters how it looks, right? Look at that thickness, oh yeah, baby. First we're gonna go in with some homemade turmeric quinoa granola, all right? Homemade, we're paying attention to every detail, right? We don't need some of that pre-bought store crap, okay? Whoa, that was aggressive. Throw some of that on there, you know, we like, we like granola, so we want a lot on there. Also, resting for that granola on One Craze Foodie, at One Craze Foodie. Okay. No! Ah! Ooh! Okay. Oh, that looks bad, Emma. That looks bad. That looks bad. Emma, Jet's gonna beat you. Jet's gonna beat you. No, she's not. It's hard work, all right? Food blogging's hard. I can't really see very well. Okay, it looks good. Wait. Shoot, we're already almost halfway through the through the bowl. We gotta just keep the pink up in there. Okay. Rinse my blueberries off. Throw some blues on there, and some, some pop of that blue color. Okay. <laughs> Let's finish it off with some organic. You see this organic shredded coconut again? These are bougie. Ooh, where do we put this? Ooh, just next to the straws. Wow. She does it again, everyone! The smoothie bowl queen, all right? We're out here. We just made the smoothie bowl. Let's get in the, in the, the natural light, all right? This kitchen doesn't do it justice. All right, we're up on the couch. Is this better lighting? I can't even tell. Or is it the same? <laughs> it's the same. Okay, well, this is my finished product. I guess I should probably try it too, but as you can see, it just looks amazing, all right? This is definitely Instagrammable, because you know, one crazy bowl. <laughs> Just don't look at me right now, all right? This is what you gotta do to get the quality content shot, okay? You gotta get that natural light. It's beautiful, all right, Jet? You did not do this, all right? You, there's no way that you beat this beauty. Now, let me get my spoon. All right, the true test. Does it taste good? There's no way it tastes bad. I can already tell it's gonna taste good. So I've made this one million times, okay? All right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get a little bit of everything up in here. Oh, we, we're not gonna get a little bit of everything. That's gonna be very difficult. Good enough, okay, you see this? Bone at the teeth, fellas, all right? Ah! <laughs> I am tooting my own horn, I'm the smoothie bowl queen. It literally doesn't get any better than this, okay? Just the, the precision, the every, every single detail. You got the texture with the granola. Well, Brie, there's just no way you want this one. But it's not up to me. Go down in the comments below. Let me know who won. Was it Brie or was it me, all right? Hit me up on my food Instagram, at one crazy foodie. I'll also link Brie's Instagram down below so you can let her know, you know, give her, you know, boost her ego a little bit if you think that she won or cause, just probably because she needs it because I definitely won. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know who you guys want me to challenge next and doing what, you know? I'm a queen in the kitchen, but I can really do anything. So, who wants to challenge me next? 
Brie, thank you for challenging me. You know, this really took me out of my comfort zone. And Brie is also a really, really funny vlogger. She is part of the Ocean Breeze Track Club, I believe. Um, up over on the East Coast, former Providence runner, steeplechaser, hilarious, so go subscribe to her. And fellas, see you in the next one.